Imagine the scorching African sun beating down on the endless savanna, the air vibrating with shimmering heat that seems to twist reality itself. Dust devils whirl across dry riverbeds, and the few scattered acacia trees cast tiny pools of shade on cracked earth. The river, at first glance, seems calm and inviting a lifeline cutting through a harsh, unforgiving land, but beneath that deceptively tranquil surface lurks one of Earth's most ancient and fearsome predators. The Nile crocodile is not merely a reptile. It is a relic of a primeval world, a living fossil whose lineage stretches back over 200 million years. It is the ultimate reminder that in the wild, it is not humanity's will that rules, but the raw law of tooth and claw, of patience and explosive violence. These giants are Africa's most notorious ambush predators. An adult Nile crocodile can exceed six meters in length and weigh over 1,000 kilograms. Most are slightly smaller, but even at four meters they are massive, enough to strike terror into anything that drinks from their rivers. Their thick armored skin is studded with bony plates called osteoderms, making them feel less like animals and more like living tanks. But it's not just their size that inspires fear. It's their sheer power and perfect adaptation for predation. Scientists have measured their bite force at over two tons. Capable of snapping bones with horrific ease, their teeth are curved and conical, designed not to chew but to grip, pierce and hold once those jaws clamp shut. There is almost no chance of escape, yet you might see them basking for hours in the sun, mouths gaping wide to cool themselves by evaporating moisture from their throats. Egyptian plovers or other birds may even hop inside their mouths to clean leftover scraps from their teeth. A surreal alliance of predator and helper, from a distance they appear lethargic. Even harmless, but that illusion dies the moment they decide to strike. Imagine you are an antelope approaching the river at dusk. The herd is nervous eyes flicking to every shadow. The water itself seems to move with purpose, betraying no hint of the danger below. A crocodile waits patient beyond measure. It can hold its breath for hours, its body entirely submerged save for its eyes and nostrils. A perfect periscope of death, and then a sudden surge of raw muscle. An explosion of spray, a terrified scream cut short as the water turns red. Did you know that the Nile crocodile's signature move? The death roll is one of nature's most brutal killing techniques. When it grabs prey it spins rapidly tearing flesh and breaking bones. This maneuver is so effective that even massive animals, like buffalo, can be overpowered if caught at the wrong moment. Now crocodiles are found across much of Africa, from Egypt in the north down to South Africa, from Senegal in the west to Ethiopia in the east, they inhabit almost any freshwater source. Mighty rivers like the Nile, sprawling lakes like Victoria and Tanganyika, remote swamps and even seasonal ponds, during droughts, they can dig into the mudi to wait out dry months in a dormant state, re-emerging when rains return. Their adaptability is one reason they have survived. For millions of years they can endure harsh conditions, travel surprising distances across floodplains during rainy seasons, and exploit nearly any body of water. And while their attacks on humans are notorious, hundreds of people die every year in crocodile attacks across Africa. They do not hunt humans by preference. People simply share the same critical resource water. Their diet is impressively varied fish, birds, antelope, buffalo, even other crocodiles. Young crocodiles start small, preying on insects and small fish. But as they grow, they scale up their menu dramatically. They are also opportunists, consuming carrion when available. Did you know that now? Crocodiles are surprisingly social in their own ruthless way. Along riverbanks, dozens may bask together in apparent peace. But this is a society of strict hierarchy. The biggest, oldest, most dominant animals claim the best spots and first rights to food. Younger or smaller crocodiles quickly learn to yield or risk savage fights. Males often battle over territory or access to nesting sites leaving one another with deep scars that tell the story of countless brutal contests. Their senses are finely tuned to their role as ambush predators. Their vision is excellent, especially in low light helping them hunt at dawn and dusk. When many animals come to drink, specialized sensory pits along their jaws, 
detect vibrations in the water, allowing them to track movement even in pitch darkness. Their ears can close tightly underwater, yet they can hear well both above and below the surface. Picture a dark night on an African river. The moonlight shimmers off the water. Frogs sing insects buzz in a thick chorus of life. Antelope approach cautiously, but the crocodile is already aware. It waits absolutely still. An extension of the river itself. The herd drinks nervously, ears flicking, but the predator holds back, calculating patient beyond human comprehension. It knows time is on its side. Reproduction in Nile crocodiles is a story of both violence and surprising tenderness. Females dig deep nests in sand or mud, laying between 25 and 80 eggs. These nests attract countless predators, monitor lizards, hyenas, jackals, birds, all eager for an easy meal. The mother defends her nest ferociously hissing, lunging even charging threats with deadly intent. When the time comes for hatching, the young begin to emit high-pitched calls from inside their eggs, a sound the mother recognizes immediately. She digs them out with surprising gentleness and carries the hatchlings in her massive jaws to the water. Despite such care, most will not survive. Fishbirds, even other crocodiles will prey on them. Perhaps only one or two of a hundred will grow to adulthood. Did you know that crocodile mothers can be astonishingly attentive? Some have been observed guarding hatchlings for weeks after birth, staying nearby and responding instantly to their distress calls, while these reptiles have a reputation for cold-blooded ruthlessness. They show a form of parental investment that few expect from such ancient creatures. Their role in Africa's ecosystems is complex and often underappreciated. As apex predators, they control populations of fish and large mammals. By consuming carrion, they help prevent the spread of disease. In dry seasons, the wallows and burrows they create can hold precious water that sustains countless other animals. Did you know that in some regions, local people credit crocodiles with engineering the land? By digging and moving mud, they create habitats for fish, amphibians and insects supporting entire food webs. Without crocodiles, some river systems might lose vital biodiversity and resilience. Culturally, the Nile crocodile looms large in Africa's history. In ancient Egypt, it was both feared and revered. The god Sobek with his crocodile head symbolized not only the deadly power of the Nile, but also its life-giving fertility. Temples were built in his honor. Priests maintained sacred pools where crocodiles lived as embodiments of Sobek himself. Some were mummified after death, wrapped in linens adorned with jewelry, treated with the same reverence as human royalty. But even outside Egypt, crocodiles occupy a powerful space in African law. Among many cultures, they are seen as gatekeepers between life and death, spirits of ancestors, symbols of power and cunning. Stories abound of crocodiles making deals with humans, punishing the arrogant, sparing the clever, and always demanding respect. Today, the relationship between humans and now. Crocodiles is as complicated as ever. Their skins are highly valued in the leather trade, leading to regulated farming and harvesting. Conservation programs aim to balance local economic needs with the protection of wild populations. In some areas, crocodile farms provide jobs and income, reducing the need for dangerous hunting in the wild. Yet no matter how much people try to manage or contain them, Crocodiles remain creatures of the wild and tamed, unpredictable and undeniably dangerous. Even seasoned guides and fishermen treat them with utmost caution. They know that to step into the waters they inhabit is to enter a realm where human rules do not apply. Did you know that despite modern conservation, conflict between people and crocodiles is still a major challenge? In remote areas, villagers risk their lives daily fetching water washing clothes or fishing in crocodile-infested rivers. Solutions range from building safer water access points to community education about crocodile behavior. This is the haunting magnetic allure of the Nile crocodile, a predator that watched the dinosaurs fall, that outlasted empires and civilizations, that can wait motionless for hours but strike with breathtaking speed. It inspires terror but also profound respect and perhaps even awe. 
for it remains the guardian of Africa's wild heart, the keeper of a world that refuses to be tamed, 